Welcome back to another video. This is the Bookkeeping Master on YouTube and this is my QuickBooks training series or QuickBooks tutorial covering a number of aspects of QuickBooks Online. Just so you're aware, I have a bookkeeping website that covers a number of things about bookkeeping and accounting software. It has 150 plus videos that are all for free. Just go to www.freebookkeepingaccounting.com. You can also make a donation to my site and my channel there. I do appreciate donations. I don't charge for anything that I do. So please um, go there and keep these videos coming by making a, a donation. So here we go. This is the supplier list. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to raise supplier invoices on QuickBooks Online so we can post invoices to these two accounts that we made in the last video. Just like raising customer invoices, there are two ways we can do this. We can use the Create Bill button here. I believe in the customer module it says create invoice or something similar to that it says create bill and supply module or we can go to the top here use the drop down or we can click on the supplier then go to the top right here and click bill so we have a invoice templates appear just like the customer invoices and we input the details from the invoice we've received from our supplier so net 60 that's what we put in as default but if we need to change that just use the drop down list and choose your payment terms let's put in the bill date let's say it was received a few days ago let's say the 28th the due date will be calculated automatically by the payment terms but you can change that manually also by using the calendar there and then we can start putting in information so let's say the purchase from Sarah was furniture and equipment you'll have a number of expense codes and asset codes already on QuickBooks I haven't added this one this was already on there by default if you're looking for an expense code that you can't find you can add a new one by clicking the drop down list going to the top and clicking add new but I will cover this later on in the course about adding new accounts so description let's put office desk and let's say it was 250 pounds and there we go that's the invoice done we obviously don't need to print or save the invoice to the system we're not going to send it to anyone we've already received the hard copy from the supplier we're just recording it on the software so once we're happy you can click save and new to do a new invoice or you can click on the arrow or the drop down menu and click save and close once it's saved you'll see that we're back in Sarah's Furniture's account. We have our bill with the date and the amount owed. Something to note here that I haven't mentioned so far is you can edit the supplier accounts by just clicking the edit button at the top here. You can then edit any information like address and contact information. Let's raise one more supplier invoice or record one more supplier invoice I should say. Let's go to the supply module. You'll see that we have a balance of 250 now on Sarah Furniture's account. Let's go to Staples and click Create Bill. All of our information is entered by default, but let's say this is an older invoice from the 15th of July and let's click in account and let's say this was office supplies and let's just put paper
and pens. And let's say this was £30 or $30. Click save and close. And that's now been recorded. Our two invoices that we had are now recorded on QuickBooks are £250 and £30. Please use the links to go to the next video.